So you want everybody so, to do what they so have to do. So what's what's the go? So this I'm gonna give you a warning, yeah? It's an official warning that you have to stand your balcony and obey the rules while you get, yeah? And that's we have to go to the rules again. I don't care. So am I allowed to go background. to the laundry? You're allowed to go to the laundry, but you've got to wear a mask, yeah? Yeah, right. Yeah. And you definitely can't go up the fence anyway. Right? So you're allowed to go to the laundry, yeah? That's always been the case, yeah? Right, so if I was sitting just here, which is right near the fence, why are these guys in a cabin that's right near the fence? It makes no sense, does it? Yeah, but you can't leave your balcony to go to the fence to talk to somebody else. That's just obvious, yeah? So if I was Again, at that balcony... Have to make sense. So there's, we always, there has to be lines everywhere drawn, yeah? And one of the lines is you cannot leave your balcony and you cannot go to someone else. Where it makes no sense, where it doesn't seem right to you, that is the line, and that's what the law is, yeah? And that's how it goes, yeah? The law. What the show direction. There's a law that says show that. Show direction, yep. There's a show direction, yeah? And how the behaviour must be done, especially in this area, because it's much more highly infectious and likely to have infected people, yeah? Highly infectious when all of us people are negative. So, so far, the risk is still very high, yeah? Yeah. Just while you're here, can we just do that? Otherwise, the next time it's a $5,000 fine, and we don't want to do that. It's a $5,000 fine, $5, fine if what? Fine. If, if, if you breach again. If if I walk out onto that path. Without your mask on, for no reason, I'll the laundry. If yeah? I cross that yellow line. Saying that you've broken the rule. That I've broken the rule, I will be issued with a $5,000 fine. That's correct. Right. Okay. I could have, we could even do that now, but we're giving the warning first. Have a chat with you because it's a big fine. Rather just do the right thing, yeah? Like I said, I'm not here to fight with you. Yeah. I don't want to fight with you. Yeah. I just want everybody to do the right thing, and yeah. unfortunately, it's my job to make sure they do. I don't think the ins and outs have got nothing to do with me. I'm just here to make sure the rules are here. Yeah. So, what did that experience make you think? Like, what, what was your feeling about being in that situation with those people in control of your every movement? Oh, it's horrible. It's a horrible feeling. You feel like you're in prison. You feel like you've done something wrong. It's inhumane what they're doing. Like, you, you are so small. You, they just overpower you and you're literally not. This is an elder. This is an indigenous elder. You are. What are you, you are doing? This is cultural genocide. This is genocide. You are all gonna pay for this. In this new video, you can see an Aboriginal elder being forcibly thrown into the back of a prison cell on wheels. I expect this person is being taken to one of Michael Gunner's concentration camps. In Australia, all that has to happen for you to be hauled off to a concentration camp by these goon police officers is for the government to say that you tested positive for COVID or for them to say that their apps detected that you were in proximity to somebody who tested positive for COVID. You can just be scooped up in broad daylight, thrown in the back of a police cruiser. And all of this is done practically by unelected health bureaucrats without due process and a fair trial. All they have to do is accuse you without proof of maybe being a carrier of COVID. Shame on Michael Gunner.